Hello and welcome to Whose Line Is It Anyway? And the expert extemporizers tonight are Man Mountain Mike McShane and Wonder Woman Josie Lawrence. Joining them, we have all the way from the exotic Welsh quarter of Vancouver, Danelda Williams, and from the rather less exotic Danish quarter of the home counties, Sandy Toxvig. Ladies and gentlemen, the contestants. Right, uh, the, uh, we start by... We start by breaking them down into two pairs. The first pairing is uh, Denny and Josie. If you'd like to come forward, play a game called uh, Film and Theatre Styles and a Motion Option. I'm going to give you a situation to uh, improvise in a moment. Uh, but we want a sort of range of, uh, well, some emotions. Can you think of some emotions to, to, to chuck in here? Guilt. Paranoia. That's paranoia and guilt. I suppose they're much the same thing, really. Embarrassment. Panics, good one. And embarrassment. Boredom. I think you're picking this up from us up here, but <laughs> boredom, that's one of your own. Now, um, <laughs> some, something. Ecstasy, ecstasy, great. It's getting me excited just to talk about it. Um, I think we've got enough there. Um, so the situation we'd like you to do is a traffic warden giving a ticket to a car, and presumably the car owner. Do you, you have traffic wardens in Canada, I dare say? Oh, yeah, but we don't have cars. <laughs> <laughs> well improvised. So <laughs> make it a horse and cart or whatever you have at the same. Oh, okay. So where you go. <clears throat> Excuse me, madam. Do you realise this is a double yellow line? Oh. Oh, yeah. No parking on double... Oh, you're foreign, are you? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. We, we don't have yellow lines in Canada. What do you... Make it panic. Oh, my God! Well, you're from Canada? Oh, sorry. sorry, I didn't realise. My grandfather came from Canada. I didn't mean to insult you. I'm so sorry. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Oh. I can't understand you. Oh, I'm sorry that you got... Why did you understand me? Oh. Don't touch my car! Let's, let's ease into paranoia. Why don't you want me to touch your car? <laughs> I wasn't even looking at your car. You want my car? Everything about you says you want my car, you back off, you little traffic warden monkey. <laughs> Another edge into embarrassment. I'm sorry, but you shouldn't call me a monkey. Well, Because I'm not, like... I'm not a monkey. <laughs> I've like... suddenly gone into May this, you wouldn't know it. <laughs> Okay, okay, it's a short step from Mavis to ecstasy to end on. Ecstasy. I like monkeys. <laughs> I sort of have a thing for primates. What say you and me, madam, get in the back of your car and talk bananas? Ah, all right, if you insist. Here, let's crawl in the boot. Oh, yes, please. Oh, here we are. Oh. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, Vortsprung dog technique. Ah. <laughs> Okay, let's end there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry to uh, sorry to inter interrupt there. It's just getting interesting, but there it is. I think uh, 15 points. Now, Sandy and Mike, um, come on down. Give you a situation in just a moment. Well, let's have some film or theatre styles uh, for the, this pair. Biblical epic. Biblical ep epic. How did you think of that? Uh, <laughs> Cookery show. Yes, that's good. Prisoner Cell Block H, yes, that's a very popular... Oh, yes, they have done it on the stage, actually. Have... Skateboard? <laughs> so, no, say it again. Spaghetti Western. Spaghetti Western, but there was a lady at the back. You look very School play. School play. Very good, very good. School play. That's uh, lots of enthusiastic suggestions there. So your situation is, please... Um, well, you two are... It's five minutes before your daughter's wedding. So... That's, that's, your, that's what you're improvising. Away you go. Honey, no links. I, I have no cufflinks. Where are my cufflinks? Never mind about the cufflinks. Why are you not wearing any trousers? Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for goodness sake, I have told you, you cannot go buffo up the aisle. <laughs> Prisoner on cell block A. Although, Dorian, I think the beards are rather over the top. <laughs> I think Warden Joey's going to like the way I look when I come in for my weekly chat. <laughs> oh, you do, do you? Yes. I like you in that grey chemise. <laughs> I thought that program was like porridge, not like that at all. Um, let's move on to a biblical epic. What woman hands off my loins? I take my hands off! <laughs> Knowest thou that Jebediah did not sit with Ruth? Yea, he walked until the mighty stone fell. He shall walk and I shall stand at the end of the aisle with my daughter and verily the congregation shall be parted. Hallelujah! <laughs> and we shall walk forward and I shall say to that groom... Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, sorry. Spag spag sorry, just, getting carried away there. I saw the light and it just yeah. kept going. <laughs> no denied inspiration. <laughs> How about of a spaghetti western? When I walk down that aisle, with all my jewelry on, ka-ching, 
Ka-chink, ka-chink. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Come on, the dress isn't that bad. Uh, All right, uh, switch into school play. I... I'll... <laughs> Um, please mess up wet myself. And my, my, I'm the father, and, and after the wedding, then I, I get really drunk, and, and I, I snog with my aunt behind the cake. Oops, sorry. How <laughs> about James Bond movie to end on? Money, Penny, I'm afraid I'd like to tell you, I'm a man. The best man. I hardly know what to say, but later on I'll show you my gold finger. <laughs> okay, let's end there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Totally good. And um, I'll give you uh, I'll give you all um, 007 marks for that. Now we move on to a game called Expert Translation. This is for Denny and Sandy, Denelda and Sadanda. And um, what we're going to do is Denny, Denelda, is going to uh, explain something in a foreign language about a foreign country, and Sandy's going to translate. So, which foreign country would you like this to be about? Belgium. Polynesia, oh, that's a great one, Polynesia, I know nothing about that country, so you'll have to speak to us in Polynesian, okay, and which aspect of Polynesian life would you like her to talk about? The drains. The, the, I heard drains before social services. The drains is pretty good, I think, so let's go for drains. Explain the drains, and Sandy will translate for us. Evening all. <laughs> Took me forever to get here from Polynesia, and I think it's partly because I swam. <laughs> Just outside Dover, I started drowning and going round in circles. Anyway, this uh, fabulous gentleman came out and saved me. <laughs> I said thanks very much, and the only way I could think of put my hands straight down his swimming trunks. <laughs> really, he was too small to have such a big head. <laughs> Anyway, it turned out we both were experts on drainage systems. Okay, let's end there. Uh, thank you very much. We got. Um, uh, I thought. Uh, and uh, I think, yes, definitely 100, 150 points there for Donelda for the accuracy of her Polynesian. And uh, one mark for Sandy for mentioning drains once in the translation. <laughs> Now we move on to a game called Psychiatrist. This is going to feature Josie Lawrence as a psychiatrist. And uh, what's going to happen is that, first of all, Denny's going to come on, then Mike Denny's going to come on and sing her symptoms to Josie, the psychiatrist. And Josie will then sing some advice or some cure. This is done with the assistance of uh, Mr. Music himself, Richard Branch. So can we think of something that Denny is scared of that she can sing about? Sorry? Peanut butter, that's good, because I'm scared of that myself. Uh, <laughs> peanut butter, a very ordinary, a perfectly normal thing to be scared of, and I'd like to hear what the cure is, so uh, away you go. Right. Doctor, 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 I have something that I dread. I can't have peanut butter put on my bread. It's on the top, yeah, it goes from north to south. But when I eat it, you see, I can't use my mouth. Oh, I understand your problem. Whenever you get the munchies, you always use this smooth peanut butter when you ought to be using the crunchies. Oh, but don't worry, don't get yourself in a rut. We have lots of mad people like you here. You are just a peanut. <laughs> very good. Yes, very good. So let's move on to uh, Mike McShane. Uh, it's Mike McShane's uh, musical con consultation now. So uh, what's he obsessed Damn. by or in love with? Easter bunnies. Easter bunnies. You love Easter bunnies. Well, that's... Depending when the show goes out, that could almost be topical, but, uh, so where you go, you're obsessed with, you're in love with Easter bunnies.
about eggs, think about eggs, think about eggs all day. I hop and hop and skip and hop whenever I want to play. I go to bed, I roll over, I look at the back of my tail. It's furry and fuzzy, what can I do? I'm gonna wind up in jail. <laughs> You are definitely going funny. It's because you are in love with all these Easter bunnies. Yeah. What can you do? You feed me all this junk. You know what rabbits do a lot. Oh, yes, say they're just bonk. So what you need to do is go away and try to break the habit. Never look at an Easter egg and stay away from the rabbits. Very good. Okay. Away. Um, now, it take me uh, quite some time of quiet contemplation to work out the scoring for that round. Uh, while I do that, you'll take a break. Uh, see you after that. Bye. Scoring their points uh, that last game based on audience appreciation, uh, one point each. Now we come to a game called Props. They break into two pairs for this. Mike and Denny, you're the first pair. And I'm going to give you this item. And you have to come up with as many different ways of using that rather dull looking prop so far, but I'm sure you do something with it. And Sandy and Josie, this is uh, your one. I don't know what that can be. Anyway. Where you go, starting with you, Mike and Donilda. Doctor, my tongue is coated. He must have been a very unusual husband. Yes, he was Finnish. <laughs> thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not live next door. Ah, double bubble, toil and trouble. I have made you the ugliest woman in the world. Bar one. <laughs> He's a Scrooge. Look upon this tombstone. What name does it say? Yours. Oh. <laughs> Which way's Olympus? Near, near, on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? It ain't you, babe. Prices are right. Prices are right. Well, let's end there. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Rather bizarre. All right. Well, those are props, and I'd be uh, cruel to mark that any less than 15, so I'll give them 12. Now we come to a game called Song Styles. This is going to be done with the assistance of Richard Vranch at the piano and other musical instruments. And uh, can we have uh, Josie on first? So Josie's going to make up a song on the spot about, uh, well, can you give me a suggestion, an object you might find in an office? A stapler. Okay, so stapler and a style of singing, please. Irish jig. <laughs> Irish jig. Is that a recognisable style? Must be, yes. Sir. You can do it in English, I'd have thought, or Irish. Oh, you've even got an Irish jig player there. Oh, yeah. uh, where you go, it's about a stapler. Where you go, Josie. Come listen to my story, I'll tell it now to you. It goes like this and I'll sing it right through. It is about a woman and nothing could placate her unless she was a sitting upon a stapler. And a hey, nanny no, and a hey, nanny no, and a niggity, niggity, yay. And a staple here and a staple there and a staple in all the way. Excellent, excellent. Oh, oh dear. That's going to get uh, 93 points, uh, but now let's move on to Mike McShane, uh, still singing about a stapler, uh, but can we have a different song style for him? Soul. Soul. Is that a nice style? Yeah, for a stapler, why not? Yes, I do soul. Oh, baby, I work in the office all day. I see you sitting there Working so hard for so little pay I just want to give you something To prove how much my love means to you Here's a stapler From me to you oh, Let me hold a 
all the documents in your hand you work with all the time. Let me give it a squeeze, a clinch, a clamp. All makes me feel fine. When I'm done with this stapler, you may think that I'm a groover, but wait till you see my staple remover. Okay, thank you very much. Excellent. Excellent, yes. Um, yes. Well, um, 100 and... 114 points all around there. Now we come to a game called News Report. Now, in this, Sandy is going to be a presenter of a television program. Uh, and with her is Mike, an expert in the studio. So you can get set up with your stools there. Uh, Denny is going to be out on the road as a reporter. And she'll be interviewing Josie, who'll be anybody who needs interviewing. But they're going to be reporting on, doing a program on um, a nursery rhyme. Can, so can you suggest a nursery rhyme? Little Bo Peep. Little Bo Peep, that's fine. All familiar with Little Bo Peep, I hope. Uh, so we'll start with uh, Sandy introducing her expert and see how it goes. Where you go. Good evening and welcome to Nook and Cranny News as we ask you to crook your necks into our nannies and see what's up. <laughs> yes, it's tremendously exciting. We've got hot news. We're going live. It's true about Little Bo Peep. She's lost the sheep. Let's go over to our expert in the studio, John Boffin. So, John, pretty serious stuff. Thank you, Terry. She's lost her sheep and she does not know where to find them. <laughs> They've been reported on the A40, wandering in a large pack, causing traffic jams. Terry, and... Terry, John, now what are the social implications for this A40 going to come to a complete standstill? Well, the Ovine Coalition movement is kind of out of communication right now saying the sheep are protesting from a tree. I'm interrupting you there. We're getting a live report at the moment from Cynthia, pretty but not very bright, out in the, uh, in the field. She's there with one of the protesting sheep. Ah, uh, uh, what? How do you like being a sheep? <laughs> I think it's bloody awful. We hate having Bo Peep as our boss. We think she's a real bastard. <laughs> Take it back to you, John. There, pretty much in-depth reporting. Very exciting. What's your reaction? I think that it's an actual movement by the English sheep to cross to Normandy and set fire to Brit to French shepherds. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think Cynthia has actually got with her live, ladies and gentlemen, Little Bo Peep. Um, Little Bo Peep, what is this? How do you feel at this moment? I feel really upset. <laughs> They've been following me around for years, and I've always treated them properly. I never said lamb cutlet once. <laughs> time for in this news flash exciting stuff we'll be back if any more developments happen don't let anyone put the wool over your eyes stay with us here at ctv thank you very much very good. <laughs> okay um right uh uh, jolly good, that was quite an epic, that one, so I think uh, it'll be like 49 points everyone. So let's move on to a game called Alphabet, and this features Sandy and Josie, if you'd like to come down. Going to give them a little scene to improvise in. Uh, the only little thing about this, they have to start the first sentence with the letter A, and then the second sentence with the letter B, and so on throughout the alphabet. Okay, so I'll give you a scene uh, now, and the scene is your two people, and one of them's encouraging the other to take a parachute jump. Okay, All starting right. with letter A. Okay. All right, are you ready? Uh, but there's one thing I haven't told you. Cool, what? <laughs> don't want to do it. Every time we go anywhere, you always say you don't want to do it. Flipping it, don't shout at me. <laughs> Good grief, we never do anything interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of that. <laughs> Joking apart, I'm ready. <laughs> know what? Let me know. What? My parachute's bigger than your parachute. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Perhaps that's because you've got a big bum. <laughs> Queen's Regiment are taking us up. <laughs> Those soldiers. So, uh, you're not nervous or anything? Touchy, touchy. But not nervous, just touchy. Under the wing is a very bad place to land. Very, very bad, so I've heard. Well, you could end up in hospital. X rays, X rays, I'm scared of X rays. Yes, it could be very serious. Zoo, zoo, look, zoo. Oh, okay, thank you very much. Oh. 
pure, pure um, magic, I don't mean agony. Anyway, I'll give you um, 92 or 93 points, whichever comes first. Now we come to a game called Gospel. This features all four contestants. I'd like to get into position. In fact, can I line you up, Josie, Denny, Sandy and Mike at the other end there? And what they're going to do, with the assistance of Richard Vranch on the piano, they're going to make up a gospel song, uh, but about something that somebody's going to suggest. So can you, can you suggest a hobby that you'd like it about? Woodwork. 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 That's okay. Woodwork, carpentry, that sort of thing. And uh, with the gospel with Richard. Where you go. for the love. Yeah. So we're going to say together, brothers and sisters, we're going to say, I am a piece of wood. Are you ready, brothers and sisters? I am a piece of wood. And therefore, I won't sing, although maybe I could. <laughs> Satan is a mighty oak, and I'm a beaver. <laughs> I live away in sin all day. I'm a long to furry believer. Gonna be Excellent, excellent. That's uh, okay. Excellent. Uh, that was in fact the uh, the last game. And totaling up the points, I see. Oh yes, Sandy Togsvig is this week's winner. So well done, Sandy. Uh, and uh, the prize for winning is to is to read the credits in a style of my choosing, and I'd like Sandy to do that in the style of a headmistress. Okay, so it just remains for me to thank Mike McShane, J.C. Lawrence, <laughs> Donelda Williams, Sandy Doxford, Richard Wright, and it's me, Clive Anderson, saying goodnight. Good night. Oh, be quiet, class, please. Don't clap when I'm trying to do the credits. Now, really. Now, it starred Clive Anderson. I thought it was very poor the way he picked his nose during the important bits. <laughs> Title music by Philip Pope. We've got a lot of hopes for Philip. I think he's going to be Pope one day. Vision mixer, Martin Coates. I wish you'd worn your glasses, Martin. I have told you when you're vision mixing, it's a... Oh, hello, costume designer, Joe Thompson. Lovely way with the needle you've got there, Joe. I'm very proud of you. Production secretary, winning the production secretary cup this week, actually, Karen Jackson. Production manager, Avon Hupley. All right, Avon. Lovely little girl. Executive producer, Denise O'Donnell, who shall never get anywhere, I'm afraid, that girl.